Mayor Dent. You know, I always assumed Harvey would win, but not like this. Won by default. He's probably pissed he didn't get his landslide fair and square. Hey, Harvey's going to be okay. You don't know that. I just... I keep wondering. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? Harvey's your best friend. I'm... nothing to you. I need you as an ally. So it all boils down to strategy, then. I don't think I can do this. What are you talking about? I don't want to see what... I just can't, okay? I have to go. I'm sorry. Harvey needs you right now. Do it for him. I'm sorry, Bruce. I wish I could, but... You can. It's my fault he's in there. I don't have anything to say to him that would make this better. Please, Bruce. Don't tell him I was here. I don't think he'd understand. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Mayor Dent was sworn in from his hospital bed. Word is he's still recovering from major hey, injuries Bruce. sustained at the event. Harvey, I am so sorry this happened. Hey, come on. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, I'm sorry anyway. I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, my family, we heal quick. It's... It's what's on the inside that counts, right? You'll always be beautiful to me, Harv. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, that's what they tell the girl who doesn't get asked to prom. Yeah, easy. I appreciate the effort, though. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. Ugh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Guess I can't blame her. The way I look now. She, uh... She was here. What? When? I, I met her coming in. She said she had to go. Oh. Thanks for letting me know. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Look at me, preaching it. What a great guy you are while I go and get my face bashed in. It's easy. Every news station is showing it. Don't do this to yourself. There's nothing you can do to change what happened. Replaying that moment will only drive you crazy. Yeah, I know that. But here I am. Trust me. You need to stop. I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. Couldn't do anything. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. Hey, thanks. What they did to Hill, to the moderator. I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The Penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. Gotham is in real danger. All the more reason for me to stand up tonight and give the people hope. Wait, wait, wait tonight? I, I thought you were supposed to be recovering. My assistant is on her way to pick me up. At the election, I was able to talk the hospital into releasing me early. <sighs> Not that they're too happy about it. All the doctors keep telling me to take it easy. But how can I? Well, stay in the chair, Mr. Dent. You should probably listen to the doctors. They know what they're talking about. Yeah, well, I've been a very good invalid, Bruce. Don't worry. I can't afford to take it easy right now. Come on, you do the same in my position. Which is why I won't even try to tell you to not look into those tapes. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot, 
Hill admitting to having both of them killed? It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. This just proves that I never really knew him. He was just hiding who he really was. I'm sorry. I know you'll pull through this. <sighs> Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign. I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. Thanks, Harvey. I appreciate that. I'll make it up to you. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. <laughs> And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? My, my system won't be here for another hour. It's, uh, it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 he just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. You, uh, you rest up, Harv. Thanks, Bruce. Suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I, I'm just glad it got your attention. And I didn't have a lot of options. Well, it worked. I'm here. I appreciate it. Things are a mess. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce, just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I, mean, I never heard of them before. Then that debate. You want answers? Ask Oswald Cobblepot. Cobblepot? I'll bring him in for questioning. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? My butler. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance, but seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls. Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. 
What about Dent? I'm probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Headed to the construction site. Send whatever men you can spare after Dent. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Unit 6, requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. 